Hi, so we are going to try to make some computer art today in Java and uh, I thought I'd make a video so that you could watch me do it so you can get an idea of how it's done. It might seem like it's going to be difficult at first, but really it's not at all. Uh, the trick is to pick some simple art. You don't want anything too, too complex. So as I'm looking at this page, um, I like this one right here. That's pretty easy. Uh, this one up here would be pretty easy too. But this one in here has a lot more uh, of the special characters that we have to deal with. So this one is pretty simple. It just has a few slashes or backslashes. Uh, this one I also used in the assignment. It's pretty easy. And this one maybe a little bit more complex. It has a lot of more variety of different characters. I'd avoid anything too, too complicated. I'd keep it simple. So let's say we're going to do this. I'm going to copy this. Just copy it here from the website. Control C to copy. And then I'm going to go to Eclipse. I already have A Java project and a class created just for this test. So I'm going to paste in it the code that I just copied. So here it is. Now I'm getting all of these errors because I don't have any Java code yet, right? I have to uh, do the system.out.print. Um, and this is looking a little bit like it's not lined up properly. It's supposed to look like that. So this is supposed to be just lined up on top of that. So what I want to do is I want to fix that right now and kind of back, oops, not that one. Control Z to undo is really helpful. So backspace. Okay, so now these two things are pretty much lined up. Um, and then what I'm going to do first to make my life easier um, is I'm just going to insert what I need to do, right? I'll do it up here first. I need to do system.out.print F parentheses. I need some quotation marks. I need a semicolon at the end. And I need some text in here. Okay. So I can follow this model. Um, for me, because I was worried about, because I'm worried about messing up uh, the spacing, especially in the front with these blank spaces, it could easily get messed up. So I found what worked for me was to just put in the quotation marks first. So at the front of each line, I'm just going to put in the quotation mark. And then I'm going to put in quotation marks. Oh, then what I did, sorry, excuse me, what I did was I copied the quotation mark, control C, and then I'm just arrowing down and control V to paste and arrow down and back up one so that I'm still lined up underneath and control V to paste, arrow down, back up one, control V to paste, arrow down, back up one. And again, so that all my quotation marks are lined up in a row. So the art is still lined up properly. It doesn't get, for example, this could happen. Okay, and that would just mess everything all up. So I don't want that to happen. So it's just easier to put those quotation marks and line them all up. Now I can go to the end and just put uh, quotation marks at the end of each. These don't have to line up. All right. Okay, so now what do I need in the beginning? I need system.out.printf, right? So I can copy this whole thing. 
and I can paste it in front of each quotation mark and I'm not worried yet that it's pushing things over I'll fix it after so I'm just pasting all right it's a little frustrating that it bumps them over like that but I can just backspace and put them back Okay, so everything's all lined up now. Um, I've got all these error messages. Why? Let's see. Insert parentheses to complete. Oh yeah, look, I need to add the parentheses and the semicolon at the end of each line. So I can just copy this, paste, paste, Okay, so my printf statements are all right. I've got system.out.printf, and I've got the, qu the quotations and parentheses and semicolon at the end. But now I'm getting this error message here, and it says invalid escape sequence. Okay, so remember I mentioned in the directions that if you use backslash, you're going to have to throw in another backslash in front of it. And so it looks like right here I have a backslash. So I'm just going to throw another backslash in front of it and then my error message goes away and now it jumps down to this line. And in this line, if I remember, I have six backslashes. So I need to throw in an extra backslash in front of every backslash and it's going to look really silly, but I've got to do it. Okay, it also looks like here I forgot to add the parentheses and the semicolon. So, all right, so it's not nicely lined up anymore, but I'm not worried about that. I've gotten rid of all my error messages, and so I'm going to try to hit run and see what happens. Oh, no. It's all spread out across one line. Huh. All right, well, so I guess I need to use that other escape sequence that we've already learned about, the backslash n at the end of each line to make a new line because, as we know, printf doesn't automatically make a new line. So I'll put those in. Okay, so I added all the slash n's in at the end of each line, and I had to add one up here also. So now if I hit run, it runs, and that's what it looks like. Uh, so it wasn't really that hard. So I hope you guys can give it a try. Pick out some simple art and remember about the slashes and um, escape character for, for new line and for backslashes inside your text and I'll give it a try. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Have a great weekend. Bye.